Hi everyone! So this is a much more lighthearted video. This is a haul. So uh, Liv is obviously here to help me once again. Uh, I have some clothes, some accessories, some dog hair flying all around. Thank you. So you ready to help me? You ready to help Mama? Alright, let's get started. I'll just start with some stuff. So show the things from Target real quick. I just got these earrings. They're just some cheapy little earrings and they look like this. I don't know. I like old jewelry. So there's those. And I got a wristlet. And to be honest, I don't really love this wristlet. But when I was in Vegas um, a few weeks ago, I decided that I needed a wristlet. And this is the one that I found that I liked the most. Um, yeah, it's the least offensive one I could find. All of the other ones, seriously, were like butt-ass ugly, so I don't know. This one is only medium ugly. So there's that. <clears throat> then I headed over to Ross. Please don't eat that. And I got some sheets that look like this. These are 500 thread count. Sit down. 100% cotton, single ply sheets. And they came with one clean fitted sheet, uh, a flat sheet, and some pillowcases. And these are like <laughs> super soft. Um, yeah, I'm gonna make my bed after this video. Where's Maya alone? Maya hates Liv, and Liv is obsessed with getting Maya to like her. So, if you see in the background, I don't know if you guys can see it or not, but there is dead grass everywhere. And that is from this lovely girl right here. She took out the couch cushion, well the couch throw pillow thing, into the backyard and then brought it back in. Uh, I wish like I could figure out what's going on in this little head. So, yeah. Then I went to Hot Topic, which is a store I haven't been in and probably like, I don't even know. But, yeah, I got, I don't know, this stupid tank top. And, I don't know, I just decided that I needed it. And, yeah, I just thought it'd be really cute to wear to the beach. And it was like, it says $20.50, but I think I paid probably like 12 bucks. You're very, very helpful, so thank you for that. Can I have my armpit? And then I got another stupid tank top, and it says, you know, Bazinga. Somebody here? Oh, no, you're just going to go harass the cat. So those tank tops, I like to wear them to the beach. Um, I don't know, like graphic tees aren't really my thing, but like when I go to the beach, I just wear like a it's like a tankini top, some shorts, and a stupid tank top. And then I got these sunglasses for a buck. And I'll hold on, put myself in there. They're pretty awesome. So that will complete my look. And I don't want to wear my nice sunglasses. I have a pair of Tiffany Aviators, and every time I wear them, the entire time I'm there, I'm paranoid that they are going to get scratched. So. I'm going to wear these awesome heart-shaped sunglasses. Yeah, I don't know. Then I got this dress. This is actually from Outlook, and it's from Romeo and Juliet Couture. Uh, it's a size large, and it's just a maxi dress. And I'm sure when I'm holding this up, it will look like a shapeless stack. But it's super soft, and it's super comfy, and it looks very nice on, actually. And so, it looks like that. Then, while I was in Vegas, I got, I stopped at the Betty Page store. I've never been, I'm so confused. This dress was interesting to try on anyway, and it's going to be interesting. Okay. Wait. Whatever. Okay. So, I stopped at the Betty Page store and tried on this dress. There something like this. And it looks like this. And it's got these really cute flamingos on it. And it's just a little like sundress and it's made out of a really silky material. And this is the back. It's wide open so you cannot wear a bra. But, and I have a large chest, but it has a built-in bra. And I've never had something that has a built-in bra that actually holds the girls up and this does. So it's like they were smart when they were building this. And this was originally $64 and I paid 
for this lovely outfit. And this is a size extra large. So I just thought it was interesting and I enjoy it. I obviously haven't worn it yet. And then I also got this dress at the Betty Page store that came with a white belt that I obviously have not worn yet either. And it has dog hair on it, so that's nice. Not all over it. <laughs> I should have buttoned it up to show you, but that's okay. You'll get the point. So, I don't know. This is the back, and this is the front. It looks like a sailor dress. <laughs> I don't know. Um, it's almost, it's just about costumey, but this dress is so flattering. It smells good. I had it in a bag with some lush stuff, and it has pockets. And this dress was actually $126, but everything was 20% off. So in addition to my 19 whatever I said, whatever this cost, um, yeah, everything was 20% off because it was Memorial Day weekend. So $126, 20% off, and it's very uplifting, again. So, because everything's inspired by Betty Page, I think that was the whole idea. Everything's very structured. I freaking love that dress. The skirt, the skirt goes out. They also sell those like crinolines so you can make the skirt go really out. And the girl that was wearing, or the girl that worked there was wearing that dress and it was super freaking cute. And their, sorry I thought something was here, their um, sizing goes up quite large. So just for your information, so moving on, I have a lot of clothes and I was going to try to stop buying clothes because I don't really need any more clothes. Yesterday I got rid of huge, two huge garbage bags full of clothing and I felt better and now I bought more stuff and I don't feel as good. So I need to get rid of more stuff. Anyway, I bought myself a nightgown because I got rid of all of my pajamas save for one pair. So I bought myself this nightgown at Target and it has, again, one of those confusing bags. And I think it goes, do you, do you see this thing? Okay, I think it goes crisscross like this, but it's from that Gilligan and O'Malley sleepwear. And I like this brand. The material is really soft um, and comfy. The size extra large, I think I said that. It's a maxi nightgown, so that's interesting. I'm not sure if it's, it's going to be too much material, but I like to be comfy when I sleep. And I'm kind of, I don't want to wear the long pants in the summer. And they didn't have, they had some shorts, like short pajama sets, but the material is all that like stiff cotton and I'm over that. So yeah. Then at Target I bought some like swim shorts and these are the Marona brand and everything all of the swim stuff at Target right now is like buy one get one half off so it's like some swim shorts. And then I bought a tankini top. And this is also from Marona, size large. See, I'm having an issue with this cross back thing. There we go. Okay, so it looks like this. Has the nice supportive boobs. And um I have just I just bought another um tankini top from Target and like it's super cute. It's purple and it's a little halter tie thing. But like it has major chest issues and like seriously, so you, I wanna tie it tight so that my chest is lifted. I mean, I don't have, like, major saggage, but, you know, you, you want to look nice at the beach. So I tie it tight. Well, then my boobs come down the bottom, and I'm like, really? I don't have, like, pancake boobs or anything. So then I loosen it up, and then it looks like I have pancake boobs. So I'm having an issue. Somebody told me to get those, like, inserts or whatever. It came with little inserts, but they're removable. No matter what I do with that stupid, stupid shirt, my boobs just don't look nice. So... I figured this would solve my problem. It's like a bandeau style tankini. I don't know. I'm just having an issue with my chest and I don't like it. Moving on. Then I went to... Well, here, I'm going to finish the clothing. Then I went to Macy's and I tried on this Calvin Klein... Yes, Calvin Klein maxi bright freaking dress. This is a size 12, and it's really long, and it's really freaking soft, and I like this material, and I don't know what it is. Where's the tag? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> so anyway, somewhere in here there has got to be a tag. Tell me what this material is. 
and I don't care anymore. But this is what it looks like. It's got a nice little racerback tie thing. See, there's a little thing there. This was made in China, but there's no like garment tag, and it's not down here at the bottom where you usually. Oh, it is. It was lying. 95% rayon, 5% spandex. Interesting. It's really freaking soft is the whole point of that. But yeah, it looks like this. And it's clingy enough where it's like it makes you look like really straight up and down. But not too clingy where it's like, mm, and it shows all your unpleasantness. But I don't know. Even though it's like horizontal stripes, it's really freaking flattering. And I feel nice that I can fit in normal size clothes. So thanks, Macy's, for that lovely boost of confidence. So anyways, then I went to Victoria's Secret and I shopped their semi-annual sale and it's like the dregs of the semi-annual sale. What is this? I don't need that. I don't need that. I don't need that. Okay. So I got some chonies and I'm going to go ahead and show them. I don't know, like usually I wear a size large at Victoria's Secret, but I don't know. I got medium chonies this time. I'm going to show them. I don't care. These looked large enough to fit my butt. I'm much more top heavy than bottom heavy. I'm like, Rrr. so anyway, long explanation, I got these. I got these by accident. <laughs> these are a size small, so I'm going to return these if I'm able to, and if not, then I will give them to somebody else. So, oops for the size small. My bad. <laughs> and then I got these in a size medium. Some bright ass pink panties. Then I got this bra, which is one of those add two cup things. Like, look at the padding in this. Holy crap, that's some intense padding. Yeah. I'm gonna have giant boobs. Um, I'm actually going to return this because they have it online on clearance, and this was not on clearance or on sale at the store, so this is going back. Tricky, tricky Victoria's Secret. And then I got this bra on sale, so, mm -hmm. then I got one of these like travel mists. I don't usually purchase fragrances from Victoria's Secret because I think they all kind of smell the same, but I really like this pink warm and cozy. It smells like, I don't know what it smells like. It smells kind of like, well I know there's vanilla, oh see toasted vanilla and peony. You really get that toasted note. It almost smells like coconut, like that toasted coconut scent. And then I got myself some sweats, because I don't have any sweats that fit, like I said. I don't know if I said that, but I got rid of all like my pajamas. So I got these, and actually I'm going to wear these to the hospital, because I don't do the gowns when I'm there, because they're gross, and they look stupid. Then I stopped off at Sephora, and I, I don't remember if I posted this video or not, but I know I recorded it. Um, I set up. Sorry about that. So the battery on my other camera died, and I was gonna show this camera that I got, but I'm gonna record on it instead. This is the first time I've used this camera. Is there a difference? It's a, a Canon PowerShot G15, whatever. So anyway, uh, just a couple more things. I went to Sephora, and I think that I was talking about for the battery died. I think I was talking about how I'm not. I wasn't planning on getting any more makeup, but I've actually used up like a lot of stuff and given away a ton of stuff. So I got a couple things. Um, I got myself the Sugar Advanced ther uh, Therapy Lip Treatment. And um, before I tried this in their birthday gift this year, I didn't really see the point in this stuff, but this really does like improve the quality of my lips. So I like it. And it's expensive. But it lasts a long time and I had got the three you know the three birthday gift whatever set and I used one entire tube gave one to a friend and then dried one in my dryer so I wanted another one then I got um, this Bobbi Brown lipstick that I've been wanting for a long time and my Sephora finally started selling Bobbi Brown and I was very happy because they haven't had it and the Macy's here, well actually I have to go an entire city over, town over, to get uh, any kind of high-end makeup because we don't have a department store here in the town I live, which is ridiculous. But anyway, so I've wanted this lipstick for a long time and every time I've gone they've been sold out. So now that my Sephora sells Bobbi Brown, 
I am a happy girl, but this is in the color Plum Rose. And it's actually more of a winter color, but I don't care. I'm gonna wear it anyway. Some, these don't have a smell, which is nice. Um, I'm not gonna swatch it, because I'm kinda wearing this cream dress, and I know that I'll be like, mm, and get cream, or get purpley colored lipstick all over my cream outfit, so yeah. This is kind of similar to Plumful by MAC, but I like Bobbi Brown lipsticks better. So yeah, then the last thing I got at Sephora is this new uh, Josie Marin, Moran, whatever lipstick. And I haven't been to Sephora in a really long time, so I'm not sure how new these actually are, but I've never seen them. And look at all these like symbol things on the back. So there's like argan oil, paraben free, recyclable, natural ingredients, cruelty free, no synthetic fragrance. And um, I don't smell anything at all. And uh, look at this cool looking lipstick. Do I still have to hold my hand behind this camera? Whatever. It's a thing, right? Look at it. It looks pretty freaking cool. And um, it's in the color Spirited Red. And I have a ton of red lips. Well, not a ton. I have like four red lipsticks. But I do not have a sheer red lipstick. And that's exactly what this is. And I wanted one. I had a red kind of lip gloss that was sort of sheer. But it's expired. And I had to throw it away. So I was... But, um, yeah, so now I have me a sheer red lip gloss, or red lipstick, and I'm happy. So, yay! And the last two things I got are very noisy. Um, I have problematic hair, as you can probably tell. It's like, seriously, today was 111 degrees, and it's damn hot, and I didn't brush my hair. So, please don't judge me. I don't really care. Um... <clears throat> But yeah, I have been looking for hairspray that actually holds my damn hair. Probably since I was like 10, I knew what hairspray was. And I've tried everything at the drugstore. I've tried like Tresemme, I've tried Ozzy, I've tried Herbal Essence, I've tried Dove, I've tried... You get the point. But then um, I tried, I've tried Elnet because everybody's like, oh, that's the best. I hate it. I've tried Aquanet. Yeah, nothing. So finally, I asked my friend Sandy, who has this like boofy helmet head, but still moves. So I'm like, what the hell hairspray do you use that keeps your hair like that after 12 hours of being a nurse? And she's like, oh, I use this kind of hairspray. And it's expensive. Uh, at Ulta, it's like 20 bucks. So I'm like, if this hairspray doesn't work, I'm going to be pissed. So I bought a can, and it was amazing. And I ran out, and I was like, sad. So I looked all over the stupid town that I lived in, or I lived, live in, and seriously, nobody has it. I went to a beauty supply, I went to two salons, I went to a spa, I went to Target, because you know sometimes they have high-end products there. Nope. Then I went on Sephora, you can't get it there. Went on Ulta, they don't ship it. So yeah, I was kind of pissed. But today, I, well actually last night, I called my friend Sandy, and I'm like, you're going out of town, give me my hairspray. She's like, Natalie, they have it in that town over, and it's at the beauty supply. So I went there and got some Kenra, and look at this price. It was $12.75, so I bought two, so I will not run out for a long time. It's the Kenra 25 Super Hold Finishing Spray, and I love it. And it even smells good. And I don't know if you can see this, but the hold index in the back says no hold, medium hold, super hold, and that's what it is, and this is no joke. So I love it, and you spray your hair, and it's like, shh, and it works, and your hair will last forever. And it's not like, it's like, it's like when you spray your hair, and it's like glue, it doesn't say tacky, and it doesn't feel like helmet hair, you know, but it's some serious business. So that was my haul, and that's what I got, and try this stuff because it's the shit and I like it and mm -hmm, I guess that's it um yeah are you guys still into empties videos because I know those are like a thing on YouTube and I like to watch them but I had this whole like big bag of empties and I was gonna film an empties video 
but then I was like, no, I'm sick, I don't want to, so I threw them all away. Well, now I have some empties, and I think that I want to film an empties video soon. I want to get some more, but what do you guys think? Should I film it? I'm going to film it. So, look for that coming up. I'm also going to do... I'm also going to do, like, a summer favorites or whatever video, because... It's pretty freaking hot, and I'd like to share the things that I like to wear in the summer. Yeah, because my routine changes a lot in the summer. Like, seriously, it's damn hot. Mm, my dog doesn't even get off. Or, like, I mean, she goes outside and goes to the bathroom. But, like, seriously, like this, this right here. Can you see her? This is her default all day thing. So, I don't know. I'm rambling now, and um, I hope you enjoyed my video. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you think of the new camera. I like it. It takes really nice pictures. I hope it takes nice videos because this is the first time I've used it. So, anyways, thanks for watching. Hope you have a nice day. I don't know where the power button is, so I'm going to edit this part out. Thank you. Hi, little doodle. Hi, pretty girl. Can you say hi to everybody? You're just going to lay on the floor? Hello.